when you talk about Nigerian Anthony Chinedun, you let's say you Google him, a lot of things come up. This is a Google page. Chinedun is Kenyan wife. Why marry a foreigner to suffer? This is from a Nigerian blog, Nairoland.com. Nigerian businessman Anthony Chinedu reads mischief in his deportation. This is from NTV, our own reporting. A lot of the pictures of Anthony Chinedu are actually from him in jail behind bars holding up his, car, his cuffs. And this is something from uh, across the street. There's something from the standard as well. State rules out talks with Anthony Chinedu. So let's try and sift through all this and bring in Anthony Chinedu. He's joining us on the phone from Lagos. How are you doing, sir? Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm good. Are you happy b being back home? Very much happy. I can't be any better. Uh, somebody in his father's land, uh, free from a lot of trouble and uh, a lot of name calling. For how long have you been away from Nigeria? Um, I, I've been away from Nigeria for so long. Though I come in and out. Right. Uh, but I've been in Kenya for so many years. I came to Kenya in 1996. Oh, I do be talking of 17 years or something like that. I'm sure the family and old friends are very happy to have you back. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Those who actually love me unconditionally, they are very happy to see me back. But Let's talk about the circumstances leading to you going back to Nigeria. What exactly happened? How did you end up being deported? That is a hard question. Uh, I end up being deported. Uh, just like they don't do me inside a flight, a private jet, and uh, brought me home. Right. But the event that took place uh, stretched from, uh, you know, my first marriage. That uh, that is what I can talk about. Um, right. I think it comes from my first marriage and uh, mainly my property in Kenya. So what happened with your marriage? Your ex-wife Akini is not very pleased with you, and you're saying she's to blame for this. <laughs> <laughs> Akini is a mad woman, man. Uh, uh, she wants me out. Now that I'm out, I think she has started missing me. Did you love her? No, you can't love a Satan. You can't love a evil. Did she, she evil. love you, Anthony? I can't tell that. That uh, that uh, supposed to be her her question. But why are you calling her mad woman now? What makes you think she's a mad woman? <laughs> Have, uh, and a lot of things points to that, but anyway, you might not put me on that anyway. Right. This is overstatement. But why exactly is she so displeased with you? What did you do, Anthony? Man, when you lose a man like Anthony Chile do, to get another person that will fit that shoe is not easy. That I can tell you for sure. Yes. Uh, try and explain some more. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Man, if you have a man who come over to your country, you know, put a lot of projects for you, a lot of investment for you, elevate you from position you never thought you would be to what you are, and they're losing you and you passing away and this guy stays strong doing his own thing, you, you might not be happy with it. Because there is nothing personal I did to Akini. Absolutely nothing personal. There right. is nothing she can tell you that I did to her. So if she gets that much, she's getting shouting all over the place, calling names and names and names. So you want to take me to Kakwa in Chizao, first anime to Kananza Kunimis, Akuna Shida. By the time those kids of ours, because among her kids, three of them are Nigerians. Right. By the time those kids will come to Nigeria, or she might have a need to visit Nigeria, right. I would like to know how she will come over. Okay, so do you miss your kids? Would you like to get custody of them? I miss them so much. I miss them so much. Nigeria does not abandon kids. I miss them a lot. So what kind of property are we talking about? Nimali Kamagani? Um, that they are in public domain, that they are in court. Mm -hmm. So if you want, you can uh, investigate, you will find them. I don't think I need to be calling names or something like that, but uh, as far as uh, 2008 is concerned, it's mm -hmm. actually valued at uh, 300 million shillings, right. which is uh, $5 million by then, and uh, dying caught. So I think um, since Kenyan government uh, decided they, they would want to do me out without uh, waiting for the court, to make a decision on these things, mm -hmm. 
I thought it would be very fine if uh, they, they find a way to to pay or compensate me and then stay in their country because uh, one thing is for sure, you cannot fight with the state. An individual can never fight with the state. But and Anthony, you're extremely wealthy. You're fabulously rich. How did you get so wealthy? Uh, I can't say I'm so wealthy. I can say I'm... Um, maybe I can afford what... Uh, I can afford. Uh, it's not that I'm uh, super wealthy anyway. So what is your worth? Can you give us a sense, a range of how much you're worth? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go with what you people have over there. As of 2008, yes. I can be said to be worth uh, $5 million. $5 million. All this from the family? From when you say family, how, how, what do you mean? You said you brought your money from Nigeria, you're already wealthy, so did this, all this money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With it? Not, uh, I brought some money, then I walked it out. I moved into Lira Estate, and I made, a, I made a lot of money there before the Akini pound on, on the world. Are you a drug dealer, Chinedu? No, 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 no. That is far from the truth. That is the creation of Akini and the creation of some people. Where did she get this idea yeah. that you're a drug dealer? If, 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 hello? Where did she get this idea that you're a drug dealer? Maybe from the fact that she wants my property. So the divorce was I not... If I, wait, wait, wait. If I am... Right. She could have found one word or the other to trap me down and let the authority arrest me. Because right. I've been there for so long. Have you ever sold drugs, Chinedu? What? what? Have you ever sold drugs in the past? No, 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 no. I've never sold drugs. Have you associated with people who sell drugs? This association is a different thing. People associate with everybody as long as they have money. So you have associated with people who sell drugs? What? So you have associated with people who sell drugs? That is not what I meant. But you don't know who sells and who doesn't sell. So, but I associate with everybody as long as I feel you can be my friend. So what is the reason the government of Kenya gave for exporting you? What did they tell you? Uh, the reason why they gave is that they don't want me in their soil. And that's it. Do you have any idea why? Um, unless if they say so, I, I don't know why. Uh, for me, what I know is about my property and about my ex-wife. Apart from that, I have been in Kenya since Moi Regime. Right. I was in Kenya in Kitaki Regime. So I don't know why this particular regime finds it so hard to treat my case maturely. Let's talk about the seven Kenyans, the seven government officials and five airline crew that are still stuck in Lagos today. What's the situation with them? Do you have anything to do with that? No, 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 no. That is uh, Nigerian government versus Kenyan government. It's not Kenyan government versus Chile. But you told one of our reporters this week that if these people needed to be released, then we need to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is a quote from the media. So you did not say this? Uh, no. Do you know why they're being held? I think that's because they violated every rule. They violated a lot of things. It was, a, it was actually a jungle mission, you know, because uh, they violated uh, aviation rules, they violated international convention rules, they brought home a citizen of another country through the back door without consulting their embassy, without consulting the foreign affairs ministry or the presidency. Operation of this level, they did not, if they landed in Nigerian territory, pirated the airspace, they pirated everything. The Kenyans actually, they are saying that they are being held, have no Nigerian visa. But that's, that's because they were not supposed to stay in Nigeria, they were supposed to drop you off and come back. Drop me off and come back like a dog. Is it what you mean? Hmm? Is, I, I, I guess it's what you mean. They drop me off and just come back like a dog. Is, is, I, I guess, Larry, that might be what you mean. No, no, that's not what I mean. But for somebody who says you don't know anything about these people being held, you do know a lot about the case and international conventions. Then they violated all of them. That's what I'm telling you. 
Right. And then they reported actually somebody who has a case in court, who has injunctions in court, somebody's case that is uh, the government is so much aware of it, the Nigerian government is so much aware of this. So they violated everything. It's not about Chinedu. It's about Nigerian and the Kenyan. Do you want to come back to Kenya? Uh, no, 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 no. Nobody wants to fight with the state. Nobody wants to live in a house that we are not wanted. So I actually don't want to come back to Kenya. I'm okay in Nigeria. I just want my money. Let them pay me. Let them compensate me. I'm a human being. So how much money do you think? Country. They can pay me and then take it over. Right. I don't have any business or hard feeling with them. How much money, how much of your money is in Kenya, do you think? Unless you're going with uh, say that particular five million, because what I'm what I'm asking for is what is in the court, not actually right. any other thing mm -hmm. that I can dispose on my own, which is not in the case. So let's go by that particular five M, and then you know, time sits by twenty thirteen since two thousand and eight. Right. Because I have not got anything from this. Uh, Kimi has been taking all this money, but she's not satisfied. She's been running deep west. She's not satisfied. She's running all the estates. She's not satisfied. So I don't know what type of hatred is that. And I, I wonder why the Kenyan government took her away without even trying to investigate. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know what they were trying to prove. I don't know whether they think I'm not a son or daughter or a son of somebody, of is, people who value me. Right. Is your divorce with the Kenya final? Okay, finally, you seem to have learned a lot of Swahili when you're in Kenya. Um, finally, ungependa kuambia VP wa Kenya wanasema wewe ni mtu wanae uza mihadarati na wewe si mtu ambaye anafa kwa minua. Hiyo ni yao tu. Hiyo ni yao tu. Lakini sijawa ishiku wa nakituka hiyo. Hakuna mtu wa mesema ni mempewe ya dawa. Hakuna mtu wa mesema ya yote usiyo kitu wanasema wanasema tu juu mm -hmm. kani nafanya kitu kaa hiyo na nimeishi kwa hiyo nchi miaka hiyo yote kwa nini wajanishika kwa nini hakuna mtu anasema anibempe mm -hmm. ama amempereka kwa polisi ama kwa mjia ya yote wanishika hiyo mm -hmm. ni yao tu juu kusema mtu ni suspect hiyo mtu amerimen suspect tu Uwezi sema juwe wangine pia wale wamesema ni suspect, wale wajuju ni suspect tu bado. Si ukrimina, kwa nini wametreat mimi kaa krimina? Na wamesema mimi ni suspect. Ama wana machinari ya nofu hile ya kutosha, kuniweka chini. Kwa hivu kaa mimi ni suspect vile wamesema sija kata. Lakini si wange treat mimi kaa suspect. Kwa nini wa kesi yangu ikukotili na nikitu ya mwari yangu, Panini wa, panini wa, I don't know what to say. Like me, mm. when I get to Keswagiri, I get so mad. Ju kesi yangu iko kotini. Wange goja, ni mariza kesi yangu. Ya, kuna kitu ni mepapa. Mteenda ki, ju Kenya siyo kwangu. Aya, asante sana. Chinedu, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it and we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. A fascinating conversation with Anthony Chinedu, the Nigerian businessman. Some say he's a drug dealer. He says nothing. He has never done drugs. He doesn't know any people who've done drugs. Here on The Trend.